Okay, to summarize this, I think a real quick rule of thumb is uh, good glass versus cheap glass. It could be an order of magnitude. It could be 10 times more expensive for glass like this, $900, 90 millimeters, versus uh, four inch, 102 for these, okay? Um, 10 times more expensive, and what do you get? Um, for low power, wide field, terrestrial, you get the same thing almost. Purists will argue that, yeah, for you know, really good photography, you'll be able to see some color fringing on bright objects, anything bright, you know. Um, so, but for visual, the primary thing you'll see differently is that high power things that are, uh, excuse me, bright objects like Jupiter, Saturn, the moon, Nice thing about the moon, it's like one color, it's gray. <laughs> um, so you're, you're gonna get a little bit of purple here and there, but it doesn't detract that much. But like Jupiter and Saturn, Jupiter is my, my standard for what can I magnify to, okay? And so for this one, I should be able to get 180 because it's two times 90, okay? This one in theory should be 200 because it's 102 times two would be 200. In theory, both these scopes should be able to magnify uh, Jupiter and be able to get a good image up to 200, okay? Nowhere near it, okay? Um, because the glass is cheap, 10 times cheaper. Um, actually, some of the money is the focuser and, you know, the sliding dew shield. Um, so 10 to 1 is a little high. Um, but what happens is this will max out. Um, I had an F5 that was 120, which Orion still sells. You can get them for like 249 new. You have to buy some accessories, but it's 120. In theory, that would go to 240 magnification. Gets nowhere near that. Jupiter, 60, and it starts becoming, you don't want to go higher because it just looks like garbage, okay? So I would suspect on this, haven't looked at, at this yet, um, six, seven versus five. So the five is a, the, they have some F15s where it's a very narrow angle. It's almost parallel, okay? So you don't get a lot of prism effect. You don't get the color. Uh, F67 is, is still pretty steep. F5 is even more, so you get more color. So F5s are, um, you know, you, really, you can't even really do it with good glass, okay? Um, so this will top out, I'm guessing, 60, maybe 70, because it's a 6.7 instead of a 5. Um, haven't tested yet, but that's really the only thing you're giving up is high power, bright objects, Jupiter, Saturn, uh, and bright objects on a star, just a star, high power, you know, some people do that, star clusters is kind of good, but for a beginning astronomer, your best targets, the coolest targets are Jupiter, Saturn, Moon. Uh, moon will be great on this, uh, Jupiter and Saturn, you'll be able to see the moons of Jupiter, the Galilean moons, uh, the rings of Saturn, you're just not going to be able to boost it to high power. But for $250 as a starter, if you don't break it or leave it out in the rain, um, you're going to learn a lot. You should be able to sell it for, you know, 60% uh, of what you, you bought. And then if you like it, you're going to have an eye on what works for you. Maybe you want a reflector. Uh, if you don't like it, you know, you're not out too much money. Okay. Hobbs? No, Hobbs. Hobbs. Hob Hobbs standing on the mirror. That's not good. That's not good. Time to beat the cat. All right, thanks.